What's up guys, Legend here, welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Feed the Beast for Mac OS um, X, uh, the, the version I have is 10.8.5, uh, Lion, um, so this is going to be working for that. So first of all, you're going to open your uh, browser, Safari, Google Chrome, whatever you have, and uh, go to the Feed the Beast website, which is going to be linked in the description. And uh, you're going to scroll down to see client download. And uh, because we're on a Mac, of course, we're going to download the .jar. So you just click it and it should download uh, automatically. And it should be called something like that. So we're going to pop it open. And we're going to put it on our desktop. And just like that. We can close all of this stuff now. We're going to make a new folder. We're going to call it feed with capital F. All the capitals. Uh, feed the beast. Just like that. Capital F. T and B. Feed the beast. We're gonna drag the uh, this uh, the the launcher uh, inside of there, just like that. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to uh, we're going to um, in the description is gonna be this little code, uh, which is this code right here. It's gonna be in the description, so just copy and paste it. And uh, what we're gonna do is gonna open the uh, feed the piece folder, click on the uh, on the um, on the dot jar file, uh, and we're going to rename it to FTB launcher, just like it just like it is right here. So copy paste that and uh, to rename it just click it and double click it or just click it and click uh, and press enter and I uh, just paste it uh, remove the extra dot jar just like that FTP launch dot jar close that off you're gonna go to spotlight and look up terminal just like that terminal is the easiest way to find it uh, it's gonna be the one that looks like a little black computer uh, with a little white arrow at the top left uh, open it up and you're gonna paste the whole code in here so just copy and paste the whole code in there and uh what's gonna do it's gonna open the feed the beast launcher just like that you can minimize both of these and uh for the for the you know showing purposes we're gonna be launching unleashed make sure your account is here and everything and i'll just click launch now of course for you it's gonna download all the uh all the mods so it's gonna take a bit more and it's gonna do this uh gonna do this uh, fml setting up and it's gonna be stuck on the Mojang screen for a little bit. Don't worry about it. Uh, don't freak out. What it's doing is doing the uh, setting. The, it's setting it up. If you do minimize it like I did, it's gonna go black. Do not worry about it. As long as you see that there's uh, stuff going on the console, like it's you know popping out a lot, a lot of uh, code and you know a lot of uh, shit you don't understand. It's working. Don't worry about it. It just takes a bit to uh, start running and pick it up. Um, so I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna come back when the uh, whole launcher is fixed up and up running and there we go that was about 30 seconds after I stopped so it wasn't really that long so don't worry about it it just takes a little bit to load you can minimize the console and uh, fully screen your Minecraft feed the beast unleashed so remember that the version is running on 1.5.2 so don't worry about all this notice Minecraft 1.6 available don't worry about that you can open your single player and we're gonna go to my little legendary craft thing here that I have a little survival test thing and uh there it is. So it's fully working. I just went uh, inside and, and just did some testing. So most of the stuff seems to be working. You know, all the mods are working. You know, the race mini map, uh, the little uh, uh, too many items, all the mods. Are, you know, all the extra ores, all the uh, all the mechanical stuff. So don't worry about that. So um, yeah. So hopefully you guys uh, found this helpful. If you guys have any trouble, be sure to leave a comment, um, and I'll see if I can uh, try to help you guys. But it's pretty pretty straightforward and simple. Not a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of to go through, go through files and rename and, you know, that's just annoying. So this is quick and easy. So all the links and all that stuff you're going to need is going to be in the description. So if you did enjoy, be sure to uh, subscribe for more tutorials and more Minecraft videos. So thanks for watching us. I'll see you guys in the next video.